social media. Log on to www.youtube.com forward slash Omega Fire Ministries Lagos. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get notification of more amazing videos and messages. For Facebook users, log on to www.facebook.com forward slash OFM Lagos. Like our page and subscribe to the page. Watch any message of your choice in the video section. On Instagram, follow at one minute with Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba and get a minute's word daily that will transform your life. Enjoy your day with the Word of God brought to you by Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba. Subscribe to our pages today. You can watch Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba's ministration and messages on social media. Log on to www.youtube.com forward slash Omega Fire Ministries Lagos. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get notification of more amazing videos and messages. For Facebook users, log on to www.facebook.com forward slash OFM Lagos. Like our page and subscribe to the page. Watch any message of your choice in the video section. On Instagram, follow at one minute with Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba and get a minute's word daily that will transform your life. Enjoy your day with the Word of God brought to you by Reverend Fidelis Ayamaba. Subscribe to our pages today. You can watch oh, and oh, Just 
Father, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. It's, it's, it's not because we are qualified, as it were. At all. It's by his mercy. Yes, sir. No, sir. It's, and it's by his mercy that we are not condemned. Yes, sir. Father, we thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Jesus. You have caused us to see a brand new world. Uh -huh. We thank you for January, February, March, April, May, June. Thank you, Jesus. We heard. Mm. We saw how yes, sir. we overcame. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. In every new month, there are congratulations and there are... Sorry. This month, people will remember the dead. Wait. This same month, people will celebrate birthday. Children will be born this month. Yes, sir. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, yes sir. sir. But we are going to cry to God, Father, as I pray. This month will not afflict me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I will not be writing my life. I will not be telling my story. And I will say July 2021 was the month when, God uh, forbid. God forbid. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my You are not true. I am true. As I pray now. As I pray. This month. This month will not afflict me. We are not afflict me. This month. Me. We not not this, this month this will month. not end my destiny. Open your mouth and talk to your prayer.
Affliction this month. I reject affliction. I refuse to be afflicted this month. I refuse to be afflicted. So put your mouth and turn it Yes, daddy. And he knows when to tell you to go. Huh? When God orders your step, when you hear somebody say, I met him, mm. I met her, mm. we met, mm. something just told me to go and use the restroom. Uh -huh. And when I was entering the restroom, I met her, mm. I met him. Am I speaking to someone? Uh -huh. Listen, there is a breakthrough connected to divine order. Yes, daddy. When God orders your step, there are things that enters your life without struggle. Uh -huh. Am I talking to somebody here? Uh -huh. Somebody said, I didn't know what happened. Something just told me to stay back. And then I heard that the boss I wanted to enter had an issue. That is the Lord ordered your step. Lift your voice. Say, Lord, this month. Lord, Lord this month. Order my steps. Order my steps. Order my steps. Order my steps. Open your mouth and turn it in. Jesus. Yeah. This month will not afflict us. Yeah. 
I decree that this month shall be a month of promotion. I say shall be our month of favor. When you look back to July, from months from today, you will thank God for the month of July. You will say that is the month that my testimony manifests. That is the month that my waiting ended at last. If you are the owner, shall I receive it in the name of Welcome to the month of July. Hallelujah. I often say to people, just joking over it, that this is the month July means Satan you lie. I hear that one, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Satan, you are a liar. This is the seventh month. There is going to be a perfection to your secret matter. Yeah. The Lord Himself is a passport. Praise God. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. He said, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin. And I will what? I will what? Heed their land. I want to teach briefly what I heard God told me. He said, the harvest of this month is going to come true. Am I talking to somebody here? There is an harvest that is about to hit us and it's going to come through the instrumentality of prayer. There's going to be an harvest of prayer. Am I talking to somebody here? Help me turn to your neighbor say, changing things through prayer. Say it like you mean it. Say, changing things through prayer. Changing things through prayers. Say it like you mean it. Somebody say, changing things through prayers. Changing, changing things, things through, through prayers. prayers. Take your seat one minute. Somebody say, changing things through prayers. Changing, changing things, things through, through prayers. prayers. Every one of you must understand that we have entered the month. The Lord said to me so clear, this month is going to be the rain of abundance. There's going to be the rain of abundance. Yeah. Because I hear the sound of abundance, uh -huh. the sound of abundance. Uh -huh. Am I speaking to someone? Uh -huh. You can change this. You can change. You can change this. Somebody didn't hear me. I say you can change this. I say you can change this. Yeah. I say you can change this. Yeah. Prayer is God's provision for His product to come at it. You can change this. I hear you. I say you can change this. Yeah. What you don't like, you can change. Yes, sir. And the Lord said to Isaiah, Go and tell uh, Ezekiah to put his house in order for he shall shut down. Is that what the prophecy was? He said, tell him to put his house in order for he shall what? He shall surely die. And then the Bible said, Ezekiah faced the wall and began to pray and reminding God by setting covenant root. And the Bible said, and the Lord said to Elijah, go back and tell him, uh -huh. I've changed my mind. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. What did God say? Go and tell him, I've changed my mind. I sent you before to tell him to put his house in order for he shall surely die. But I sent you back to him in response to prayer that tell him that I've changed my mind. He will not just die. I have added 15 more years mm -hmm. to his life. That means by the instrument of prayers, God can add money to your bank account. Yeah, daddy. He said, go and tell him. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. This month of July, I don't know the pattern. I don't know the generational affliction. I don't know the foundation that is fighting you, but there's about to be a change. Yeah. Oh, somebody didn't hear me. I said there is about to be a change. Yeah. If that amen is better, it will happen in a hurry. Yeah. Let me tell you, let me say you can change things. You can change things. Uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. Every one of you must understand that the creator created you a creator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Psalm 82 says you are God's. Uh-huh. The same scripture, I mean, another scripture says, for whatsoever we bind on earth is bind. It means that we are co-creators with divinity. There are things you don't permit is not permitted. When God places you in a community, in a village, in a locality, he expects you to represent him eat at you. Somebody's not sure. I hear you, daddy. Am I talking to someone this morning? That's the reason why every one of you must understand. Let's look at 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. I'm going to say changing things through prayers. Changing things through prayer. 1 Kings 17, verse 1. Thank you, my father. He said, and Elijah the Tishbite. Tishbite. Someone said Tishbite. Tishbite. If you remember the life of Elijah, he had no story. He had no generational connection. They just say, hey, he's Elijah the Tishbite. That means he will teach you and bite you. He said, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead? Said to Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel lived, before whom I stand. Somebody shall I stand. He said, there shall be no dew nor rain this year. He said, but. Mm-hmm. Can we read the last words together? But. According. Whose words? Word. Talk to me. Whose words? His word. So you don't need to bother God in this matter. Philip. According to my word. Oh. That means I am stopping the rain as a kingdom authority in charge of this mm. people. I hear you, sir. Oh. I am stopping the rain as a kingdom of God. A great man of God of blessed memory said, At a time, the witches in this locality, if I want an association of what witches wanted to hold a meeting, and he said to the man, The meeting will not hold that. The man said, Even God can't stop it. And he said, That's true. You don't need to bother. God does not need to bother himself. I am here. I am here. I am here. Am I talking to someone today? And Elijah said, there shall be no rain. There shall be no rain. Mm. For three and a half years. There shall be no dew. No rain. He didn't just say rain. Dew. That means there shall be total dryness. Mm. And the Bible says, so it was. He said, according to my word. Did he say according to the word of God? I according you, to my word. Am I speaking to somebody here? If you read James chapter 5 verse 18 or from verse 16. James chapter 5 from verse 16. You will understand the implication of that matter. He said, confess your fault one to another. And pray one for another that he may be healed. For the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. Have more. Somebody say effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man available not unrighteous man we have yes, too many unrighteous prayer warriors who don't want to keep the principles of the covenant yet they want to bypass matters through prayer prayer is not a shortcut to getting from god you can't be immoral and expect to cover up with fasting and prayer i hear you sir this 17 said, Elias was a man subject to like passion. Somebody shout, Elias. As we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. What did he do? Talk to me, what did he do? Then in verse 18, the Bible says, and he prayed again. This is the one that I like. That means if you think the first prayer was a gamble, he prayed again. Oh, somebody didn't tell me why. For you to know that the first that happened was a product of prayers, he prayed again the that there should be rain and there was rain. Now, if you take me back to the scripture where I took you from, I think in 1 Kings 17 verse 1, the Bible says, see, he said, according to my word, before you start dishing out your word, there is something you need to do. Hear this. He said, before whom? Somebody shout before whom? Before whom? So before Elijah said, I called 
authority to my word. He has already stood before him. That's why James said he prayed. So when he was before him, he prayed. Yes, when he was before them, he declared. Huh? When you know how to stand before him in prayers, you stand before situation in declaration. We don't struggle with cases. We have settled it in sickness. Yes, sir. Matthew 6 he said, The God that seeth in secret. If God has seen you in secret, He will reward you in public. Stop avoiding the secret place. And you actually want to take your place. You have no place in destiny if you don't have a place in the secret place. Yeah, you, sir. He said, For they that dwell. In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the They that do it. So your place in July is connected to your place in the secret place. The Lord said to me, there's going to be the harvest of praise. Yeah, it's a month to pray like you have never prayed before. Uh -huh. Is a month because God wants to answer your prayers. He yep. said, Come boldly before the throne of grace that you might obtain grace and mercy to help in the time of need. Come boldly. God is waiting for a lot of us these 31 days. He wants to hear you again. Am I speaking to someone here? That's why, in one or two times, we're going to be talking to you on how to approach God so that you understand how it works. You don't just come to God pouring out your emotions. God may not be moved by your emotions. He's moved by your understanding of scriptures and knowing how to utilize scriptures. He said we pray and miss because we don't know how to pray. He said the spirit a better one in family. So you need to understand that you are loud in prayers does not make you a prayer warrior in success. The success of a warrior, a true warrior, is a warrior who has proofs from prayers, not a warrior who spends time without nothing to show. Am I speaking to someone? I said to God a few years ago, I said, whatever you have graced me, with will not be sorted after when I'm at home. It's not possible. I can't be around and God is looking for some things. You know what God will tell you? Look for Reverend Philip. If you can get in this matter, so stop disturbing me. Go and call Reverend Philip. Send for Reverend Philip. You are disturbing me on this matter. Don't disturb me. Send for Reverend Philip. Send for Dr. Philip. Send for him. Send for him. And the Lord Himself, the healer. The creator, the maker, the maker himself, the creator himself, the God whose abilities cannot be limited, said to him, send men to Job. <laughs> it means that I don't bother myself over trivial matters like this. I have a solution somewhere. Send for Peter. Send for Peter. Send for Peter. Send for Peter. There are men who are about to enter a dimension by the instrument of prayer. Yeah. Should we pray? Until you pray and prayer will recognize that you pray. I hear you that. But say Elijah was a man of like passion like we are. Who prayed that there should be no rain. Sir, I sense it. I hate it. Mm -hmm. There's about to be a rain. Yeah. The kind of testimonies you will hear this much. They are the testimonies that will blow your mind. Yeah, Wherever you are watching me from online, I make bold to declare by your connection to this online, uh -huh. I decree under God and under grace, uh -huh. your testimony shall be the shocker of your time. If that amen is better, it will happen in the heart. We have one of our pastor's wife with us here in Lagos. And then he, the pastor was approaching her for marriage. And then another pastor, it is rebellion to be giving counter prophecy to that of your boss. 
You can't be on that grace and you are contenting the prophetic ministry of your boss. Uh -huh. I said to the young man, I said, he came to me and said, I like this lady, I want to. I don't give marital recommendations because they will blame you at last. Only on rare occasions and you must have seen loyalty and maturity in you. And I speak to you in parables, not direct. Am I speaking to someone? Somebody came to me and said, Daddy, what do you think about this matter? After praying, I said to the person, 70 over 100 is not a bad word. <laughs> it means that this person is not perfect, but his errors are 30% and his uniqueness are 70. You have to manage the 30 mm. to enjoy the 70. Huh? I didn't tell you, go ahead. I only spoke. Mathematics. I hear you, sir. Of wisdom. And someone walked into my office and I looked at the person. I said, Have you ever seen a man who knows that this is poison? I make sure we have finished talking what brought him. On another discussion, I tripped him my parable. I said, Have you ever seen a man who knows that this food is poison, even if the food is delicious? And he decided to continue to eat the food. And he said, No. I said, God bless you. <laughs> Huh? Because whether you like it or yes, 98% of men who are failing and who have a small mind, they look for who to blame. So. And that's the reason in the first place why they are failing. If I succeed, I give God the glory, I chest it. If it didn't work, I chest it. The man who produced electricity, I learned he failed several times until he succeeded. Yes, daddy. Are you aware that one success overshadows all your failures? Yes, sir. Nobody talk about your fall when you rise and win. Somebody say prayers. Prayers. Changing things through prayers. Changing things through prayers. Say it like you mean it. Changing things. Changing things. Every one of you must understand that Elijah said according to my word mm -hmm. because he stand before me. Yes. I love when Angel Gabriel came and said and there was this contention. Angel Gabriel said what are you talking about? I am one that standed in the presence of God. That means I was there when there was a legislative executive and a judicial section. When God the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost met and they said, we need to do something to humanity. And for us to achieve this, we need to visit a virgin somewhere. So I am not standing in my capacity. I'm standing as a genuine away. The secretary, one that standeth in the presence. Mm -hmm. The worst human being to be connected to is a man who does not stand in his presence. Yeah. There are many people standing in your presence who don't stand in his presence. They don't have a record with him. And yet they are telling you what it is. The angel said, I am one that standeth in his presence. Mm -hmm. That means before you can stand before people's presence and make impact, you must have stood in his presence. And Elijah said, I stand before him. Before he came to say, this rain will not fall. I'm talking. And then the younger pastor said, This guy is not your husband because they have relationship. And pointed to another one. These two pastors now are married and their marriage are doing very well. Imagine if there was a demonic swamp because of emotions. And I said, This is the part I want to share. I said to the lady, look at me. You know, there is a point when you leave parables and you not tell the meaning of the parable. Yeah, yes. But so when you will meet with his disciples, he will interpret the parables to his disciples. So the matter got to a junction where I had to come out in the full capacity of the apostolic and the prophetic grace that I represent. 
and I looked at the lady. I said, this is your husband. One thing you will know that God has spoken. Nine months after your wedding day, you will give birth. Huh? And you will not only give birth, you are giving birth to a boy. And that the lady got pregnant. Got married, got pregnant, and she delivered the nine months. Our office people started calculating. Because it was too exact. So they wanted to know if Mr. Man of God entered before the entry. Mm -hmm. I said to him, how will you know that God has spoken? He said, once has he spoken, twice have I heard the power. Ah! He no, 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 no. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, God married, got pregnant and delivered in about nine months and maybe a few days or few hours. Nine months. You heard the story of our brother on Sunday, um, Brother Bello. He said when he was, when the wife gave birth, somebody said this is June 24th. You got married whether September with you with He said this is nine months and four days. Nine months. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about when your testimony becomes people's concern. When the food the doctor that is in charge of your case needs to review your case. I said, did you say you are pregnant? I can see you are pregnant. And then your doctor is asking you how come. You tell your doctor God came. God came. But for you to enjoy this harvest, this rain, this month, God is calling you to the secret place. There is a place. No man who dwells in the secret place, I repeat, and misses his place in destiny. Somebody said, but I've been there. I'm not seeing testimony. Remain there. The Bible said, Jesus said to them, and he said, carry ye in Jerusalem until. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. Somebody shout, until. Somebody say, until. You know the word until. You know what it means? Do you know the meaning of the word until? It means that remain there. I'm not telling you when it will happen. But remain there till. Elijah was praying, putting his head in between his knees. And he kept on praying. Seven times, six times they checked and six times there was no testimony. He told them, go again. You don't rush out of that place until you sense the place. We run out of the secret place too quick. That's why we are manifesting immature manifesting. Mm -hmm. Is somebody hearing me this morning? Yes, sir. I sense the sound of abundance of rain. Yeah. But if this rain must come. Yeah. You know, somebody needs to cry. Don't be carried away by this gospel that tells you you don't have to do anything to get what you need to get. The price has been paid on the cross. I agree. I agree. Luke 6 38. Who spoke there? Jesus himself. He said, Give, comma, and it shall be given on. They say you should not do anything. The why is Jesus saying give? Why did Jesus say give? He said you should not do anything, Shay. The price has been paid. So everything will just answer to you because you are a Christian. Am I talking here? In Galatians, the Bible told us that as long as the tear is a child, it differeth not from what a slave. Who is a child? A child is someone who walks in ignorance, even if he has everything. The Bible says, even if he's the master of them all. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? And he said to us in Isaiah, he said, unto us a child is born, and unto us a son. You don't give certain things to children, you give it to sons. Sonship is a sign of maturity. Paul said, when I was a child, I speak like a child. Romans, I think, 8. He said the endless waited, endless expectation waited for the manifestations 
of the children of God no sir of the child of God no sir of the sons of God he gave them power to them that be Jesus gave them power every one of you must understand that you must mature to sonship but my simple thing this month you can change this matter don't rush out of the secret place the public place is always there but it's better to arrive in your time in his time in your time than to arrive before time any child who comes before nine months needs support to survive most children who arrive before nine months critically some months before they need support to survive many are in the public needing support to survive because they rushed into the public we have many preachers today who are messing up their calling they need support to survive because they rushed out in six months rushed out in seven I don't want to use eight months because I've handled cases of delivery in eight months that is normal. So I lived for seven. I've not handled a case that was delivered in seven that didn't need support. For eight months, they rushed out. So they need incubators. They need life support. But when you give birth to mostly children in nine months, in fact, there are some children when they come, their bone is already becoming strong. Changing things. Somebody say changing things. Changing things. Say it like you meant. Changing things. Second Corinthians seven fourteen said, "If the people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray, and pray, it takes humility to pray." Let me rush through this, and we call this service a close. In Acts chapter twelve, from verse five, somebody say changing things. Changing, changing things. things. True prayer. Through prayers. prayers. Somebody say changing things. Changing, changing things. things. True prayers. True prayers. He said, therefore, Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without season of the church unto God. For who? For who? Talk to me. For who? For Peter. Who was the church praying for? For Peter. Who were the church praying for? For Peter. Are you aware that before the case of Peter, there was a case of James? Yes, sir. And James died as if. Then they went for Peter. When they succeeded, listen to me. Where there is obvious continuity of affliction, it means that the people have not realized the weapon of prayer. Yes, sir. Nothing stops generational pattern like prayer. Yes, daddy. Sealed up with sacrifice. James was taken. They went for Peter. And the church gathered. The church did not carry placard to protest. They gathered. They took their protest into their prayer room. Mm. But they began to manufacture prayer. Peter must not die. Mm -hmm. If you read the rest of the story, the Bible says, and there was an angelic intervention uh -huh. that entered the prison. That supernatural intervention. Uh -huh. You provoke the supernatural by the instrument of prayers. Uh -huh. And the Bible says, the, the, the angel came, tapped Peter. As soon as the angel hit Peter, the chains fell. Mm -hmm. And Peter thought he was in a trance. Took him through the first prison gate and brought him through the city gate. And then left him. And Peter was knocking at the door in the house where they were praying for him. This month, as you are still praying, your prayer is going to be answered. Amen. I said this month, as you are still praying, your prayer is going to be knocking at the door. If that amen is better, it will happen in the heart. How did they stop the foundation? They stopped it by praying. Yeah, you see. What kid Peter can't, what kid James can't keep Peter? Yes. It's not a mere confession. It's in the dimension of warfare. Mm -hmm. What kid James can't keep it? What kid James can't keep it? Yes, sir. Bounce they began to pray. He got that. Do he had that? Zugudu. They get it? 
The Bible said there were seven sons. Somebody shout seven sons. Seven sons. I can't hear. Somebody shout seven sons. Seven sons. Seven. One demonic Mbeke entered a family wasted seven sons. Wasted. Somebody shout wasted. Wasted them. Wasted one. Wasted two. Wasted three. Wasted four. Wasted five. Wasted six, wasted seven sons. Wiped out the family trace from planet Earth. Then she also now left. Why did she not leave after the second? The thing that is after your family is after legacy. Wants to close the entire chapter of your family. And in Acts chapter 12, another matter came. James died. Are you aware in Galatians, if I'm not mistaken, what's his name? Is it Galatians 2 9 or 9 2? Where, um, what's his name? Said Paul said, He said, I perceive, I know now that there are three pillars. One was Cephas, one was James, and the other one was John. Yes, that means when they took James and they succeeded, they went for Peter. If they had succeeded, they would have gone for John. The thing that is affecting your family is not going for scaffolds, it's going for pillars. Mm. I hear you, sir. Because scaffolds are really relevant in construction. It is pillars that stays with the structure for life. Mm. When Satan enters an assignment, enters a family, it does not look for scaffolds. Satan looks for pillars. Somebody shout pillars. Pillar. He's looking for people. Do you know what the Bible taught me? Am I talking to somebody yeah, here today? Daddy. You must understand that it is time to rise up and raise up a prayer backings for our pillars. Uh -huh. Samson said, take me to the pillars of this church. Take me to the pillars. And the little boy took him to the pillars. And he put his hands on the pillar. And he cried. Mm. Remove scaffolds, the structure remains. Shake the pillar. There's a pillar. Cry. I'm not talking of beautification pillars. I'm talking of the weight-bearing pillars. There are pillars. Satan is after pillars. Satan is after pillars. That's why when Satan was after men like our father and the Lord, look at it, Galatians 2, 9, and when James, you know, Cephas is Peter, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me. They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of pillars. pillars. Peter was a pillar. Satan went for him. Remember before that time, Jesus said, Upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. When Satan discovered that Peter was a key, he went for Peter. Yes, sir. There are times when Satan comes, he's not actually looking for James, he's looking for Peter. Yes, sir. But he will first test the water. If James go, he will say, okay, fine. He checks your reactions and nobody reacted. Everybody is crying. Nobody is busting in prayers. Nobody is getting angry over the matter. Now James' barrier is being conducted and he went for Peter. When he Can got I Peter, that's where he refused to know that unconsciously we have an understanding of how to maintain pillars. Mm. Many of us, the church of God is losing generous because intercessors have become preachers. Those who are supposed to be backup staffs have become frontliners. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, because they feel that there is no profit in interceding. Everybody wants to prophesy. Another thing is that those on the front line have refused to take care of those at the back line. So everybody wants to come to front line. So now there is a problem with the balancing of spiritual uh -huh. matters in the uh -huh. okay. No matter how, if you make error on a leader, I will build God in calf. Because his calling is not to lead the people, his calling is to answer to Moses. I but Aaron's have started answering call. 
Because they feel Moses is shortchanging them. Can <laughs> Is it that the greed of Aaron or the wickedness of Moses? I hear you, Two sir. things are involved. Mm -hmm. I hear this one. Every one of you must understand that just having an understanding of your placement distinguishes it. Somebody shout, I hear. I, I hear. hear. This is the month to change things through prayers. Mm. I want you to consciously pick up some matters in the place of prayers. And then in the next 31 days, check what has happened to the things you pick. Check what has happened. But and Elijah prayed that there should be no rain and there was no rain. It was obvious. He prayed again that there should be rain. And there was no, what have you prayed that you have seen? They brought a woman. I think a woman was to deliver and the woman was brought to before me, she was going through some funny things with a doctor's report that the baby was breached. I looked at the woman, I did my hand with this. In the name of Jesus, I mm. corrected, I shifted the baby. Oh, I did like this. Say love. Directed my hand to direct the matter. They went back to check and then Luke 22, 31. Lord help me. He said, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, no one shall behold, Satan had desire. Someone shall desire. To desire means he used all body defined. <laughs> when a man desires a lady, he will go and change his haircut, change his look, change his clothes, and even learn some English. Those days when we used to write love letter, we write dosology. <laughs> On one corner of the letter, we write Dito. You carry both advanced and Oxford dictionary to help your grammatization to enter where. And you are carving a letter. You are the nini nini nu nu There are some of you who are laughing now, you are of the whole school. Some of you young ones, you don't understand what I'm saying. Because you have not been in the level when you have been subjected to some serious confusion. What is raining now is God told me. Paul say the Lord. After they have a privilege to take prayer in prayer bar, they make sure they pray you out. And then they meet you outside and tell you, can't you see? Changing things to And Jesus said to Peter, I perceive that Satan wants to see you like we to have you that he may sift you as you 32. He said, But I pray for you. He said, But I have prayed. So, how did God change the, the matters of Peter's affliction? He prayed for Peter. Peter is a product of prayers. Jesus prayed for him. He denied Jesus three times. He still went back to repent. Judas hanged himself. When they caught him again, it was the prayer of the church that rescued Peter. You know what that means? It means that no matter how anointed the anointed is, the anointed need prayer back in. Stop neglecting your prophets. Pray for him. In Acts 16 from verse 25, Paul and Silas were kept in prison at midnight. They began to pray and to pray, to pray. And they changed the matter. When the jailer got up in the morning, the jailer wanted to kill himself because he thought they had escaped. Hello. Are you still here? Yes, sir. This is the seventh month. Obviously, seven is the number of what? Of perfection. God created and rested on the seventh day. Is it true? Yes, like in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 11 it says labor to enter into rest. rest labor to enter let us labor therefore to enter into that what? into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief in 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 17 when the Bible says labor let me show you how to labor it's not to go and carry concrete 
He said, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the world. So labor to know God's word and labor to obey God's word. That's how you enter into your rest. Stretch your tongue and show your seat. I would love to tell you what I think of Jesus. For I found in him a friend so pure and true. I would love to tell you how he changed my life completely. Because he has done for me what no other friend could do. No one ever cares for me like Jesus. There's no other friend so And darkness from me. Oh, how much he cares for me. Oh, how much he cares for me. Listen, as loving as Jesus was, Son of God, before he embarked on the cross, like you were entering into July. Bible said he went to Gethsemane to pray. He prayed until the blood that was coming out of his body was as thick. The sweat was as thick as blood. I asked my question a question. Why will God have to pray for a journey that has been prophesied when he knows that God is not a man that should lie? God can lie. He has said it. That as Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days, so shall the son of man be. Why did he not lean on prophecy and just sleep his way through the cross? He knows that if prophecy is under contention, it takes prayers to manifest it. That's why Paul said to Timothy, having an understanding of the workings of spirituality, he said, my son Timothy, consign it. The prophecy that has gone ahead of you, that thou mayest war, Good warfare, son of God, God Himself, the world went to Gethsemane to pray. He's not just talking about praying. Oh, hello, church. Jesus' prayer was stronger than Elijah, I believe. And they said, Elijah prayed that prayer, knew that he prayed. A man prayed until the sweat that was coming out of his body. Not a man, God was praying for a journey that was prophesied. Am I saying something? Yes, sir. It's not his own matter. It's a matter of God. God's matter. That God has spoken. And he knows his father cannot lie. Hmm? That anything God says comes to pass. But he knows that God has said it. There's something you must do. He prayed. The journey to the cross can be tedious. When you have settled it in prayer. You just with that. You just say through it. You say it. Men who walk on the stormy waters are men who have settled the matter in the place of prayer. Yes, sir. You know what Jesus said in Matthew 26, 41? You know what Jesus said? He said, watch and pray that he what? What did he say? He said, watch. Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. He said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing. But the flesh. Watch and pray. There are temptations everywhere. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. I seek and desire of the Lord this one. That to activate your harvest. To provoke the fall of your brain. May you contact a fresh unction for the secret place. Amen. A fresh unction for the secret place. Amen. 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 Secret place. Amen. As you call him this morning, you will see him. Amen. You will see him. Amen. 
you will see. Amen. Stretch your hand and I give you the next two minutes. Begin to tell God what you will take again to Him in continuity. Tell Him what you desire this month. Huh? The Lord said I should tell you to pray. Mama Moko Somebody. Yes, sir. There is a point they are playing. Somebody is looking for the string. 
that sound who is making it who is making that sound somebody is perceiving a line a line i invited mercy please because i perceived something and the kind of testimonies i've been hearing are mind blown because i pass this month your helpers will perceive you hey, And one of our pastors said to me, someone called him all the way from a far country. I said, please, can you tell me what reverend will like? Why he was telling me, it's not what they are bringing that is my attraction. Or what the person brought. That somebody could perceive me from afar. This month, by the instrument of favor. I see abundance in your direction. Yeah. Wave those hands and give him praise. Listen. Say to somebody by July 31st. Even though you know me before. By July 31st. Even though you know me before Something is changing Something is changing I said something is changing Something is changing Listen A songwriter says something moving
do you know me? I can hear you ask your neighbor, do you know me? Are you sure you know me? Hallelujah. You know, on a lighter note, 